Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about self-love and this is very important because this is connected to feeling worthy and when we are able to feel worthy we open ourselves to abundance, to health, to love, to success, to good relationships. When we don't we're gonna unconsciously auto-sabotage ourselves without even realizing that we're doing this. When we have something that's gonna give us an opportunity in life or something that we really want, we're gonna find ways to fail. And this is because we feel that we don't really deserve it, even though we actually consciously really want it. And this is why it's so important. And the first thing I wanna talk about this is that we can have an entanglement with an ancestor that was not able to, to love uh, himself or her, herself. So if we have an entanglement, it's gonna be very difficult for us to love ourselves, to be actually uh, feeling worthy to receive everything that life can give to us, because we're gonna unconsciously follow the pattern of the ancestor, or say, if you were not able to do this, that I'm not gonna be able to do it either, out of loyalty, out of this blind love that we have for our ancestors. So that's important to work with, if you feel that you have an entanglement with an ancestor that was not able to love themselves. And then another thing that happens is that you often hear, you know, you need to love yourself. And, it, oh, and, and often we have the question, how do we love ourselves? So the first aspect is to want to do this. And by doing this, we're going to start being more aware of what we're doing in our daily lives to actually make that happen. Because this is not only a decision that we make for our lives, but there's, it's, it's together with action that we need to take. So for example, the first aspect is to take care of yourself. So what are you eating? How much are you sleeping? Are you doing exercise? And if you make the decision to take care of yourself, you're gonna start being more aware of what you're doing every day and commit to do it differently in order to take care of yourself. And this is together with, uh, goes together with uh, self-love. Another aspect is to set boundaries, to be able to say no. To be able to say yes but the problem often comes when we're not able to say no to set boundaries with what we're doing with people and that's another aspect of being able to to have self-love uh, another important one is and for me this is one of the most important ones is the self-talk so we're often uh, talking to ourselves on how we're doing things and if we do something that is not good listen to yourself how are you talking to yourself and if you're not talking in a way that's loving, that's caring, that's forgiven, this needs to, needs to shift. This is one of the most important aspects. And this is how you can also measure how much are you achieving in the, in the self-love aspect. When you listen to yourself, talking to yourself. So you need to treat yourself like you're the most precious jewel that exists in the world. With love, with care and forgiving. And in any aspect in your life, when you're not able to do it the way that you want to, Instead of bringing yourself down, then you just learn and you say, well, tomorrow I'll do it better. And that's also part of the self-love and the self-talk and the forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself, accepting yourself the way that you are without demanding uh, for you to be different. And we're not going to do it perfectly. And that's another thing that we need to accept. So when things are not the way we want them to be, we just learn and we move on without pulling ourselves down. And that's, again, another aspect of, of self-love. Uh, to accept ourselves, to let go of the guilt, because often we're just holding on to the guilt that is not necessary, that is not being any, uh, bringing anything positive or anything useful in our lives. So all those aspects are together uh, combined for us to be able to love ourselves and to be able to open ourselves for uh, abundance, health, love, success, uh, beauty, good relationships. So I'm gonna repeat them again. So first is to uh, look if you have an entanglement with an ancestor that was not able to, to have self-love in his or her life, and that's an important aspect that, that you need to, to work with. Uh, taking care of yourself, also um, setting boundaries, um, the self-talk, how do you talk to yourself and forgive yourself when things are not the way you want them to be accept yourself uh, the way you are and letting go of the guilt that is not um, useful. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you find it useful and that you have a great rest of the day, um, afternoon, evening, um, whenever you're watching this. Okay, bye.